Hi, welcome back to Talking About Wood. Today, we're looking at four ways that we can fight the coronavirus. All right, so, coronavirus is everywhere. People are in panic mode. It's this new virus and nobody really knows what's going on. But what we do know is that it is a virus. So, we know that antiviral medicines or uh, oils or things like this can help fight the virus, help kill the virus. So we're going to be looking at some of those that have to do specifically with wood. Number one is this small little essential oil. This is called the Ravensera oil. This comes from Ravensera trees from Madagascar. Now, this oil is great because of all essential oils, it has the highest levels of antiviral properties. So what do we do with this oil? Well, there's a few things. We can use something like this. This is a diffuser. Put a little bit of water inside, a few drops of the oil, turn it on, and it creates steam using ultrasonic waves. This will permeate your house. It will go everywhere. It fills up the, the room, the space, the environment, and it helps to kill off any uh, viral uh, infections that might be in the air in your house. One of these diffusers is good for each room of your house. So bedroom could have one, a living room could have one, something like this. So if you have a really small house, you probably can use one or two and just move them where you go. But if you have a really big house, it might be a good idea to get two or three of these to put in the different rooms. So this oil is something you can pick up at a local health food store and some pharmacies will have it. It's a little bit expensive, but it's worth it because this of all essential oils has the highest ability to kill viruses. It's also antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. So if you have a cough or something already, you're already infected, this will help to relieve those symptoms and get you back to normal health a lot faster. The other thing you can do with this is you can make a kind of salve with it, with a little bit of coconut oil, and then you rub it on your chest. And when you rub it on your chest, it naturally will release and help you to breathe better and help you to feel better. So this is something that is our number one highly recommended to get is Raven Serra oil. Number two is eucalyptus oil. Now, I don't have any eucalyptus oil with me right now, but it basically is the same thing as the Raven Serra oil. It's just not as potent, but you can put it in your bath. You can do a uh, hot steam with it where you boil some water, put a few drops in that, let it just steam naturally in your house, in your kitchen, like in a kettle. Um, you can rub it on your chest again, put it, mix it with a little bit of coconut oil or like macadamia nut oil. And you can rub that on your chest, will help you to breathe better. And you can put it in the diffuser and the same thing will help the anti-inflammatory. So if your lungs are, are inflamed a little bit, you know, if you have bronchitis, pneumonia, something like this, this is really, really great. So all of you high risk people who might already have a condition where your lungs are infected, get the, get the eucalyptus, get Raven Serra oil, put those in diffusers, um, put those in your shower, in your bath, you know, a few drops, you know, when you go in the hot steam shower, it will steam up the room and fill the atmosphere. It will help kill off all the viruses, bacteria, um, and it will lower inflammation in the body. Okay. Now, number three, and this is one a lot of people don't know about and something you probably have in your house is cinnamon. So we've got a pack of ground cinnamon here and you're thinking, well, cinnamon's great, makes things taste yummy, but what does that have to do with trees and what is that going to do for me? Well, cinnamon is actually the bark from a cinnamon tree. So the cinnamon sticks that we buy in the store or the ground cinnamon we get is actually the bark that is shaved off of the cinnamon tree, dried, and then we use that as a spice. So how does that help us? Well, we have cinnamon shots. So what you do is you take about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, put it in a little bit of warm water, but not cold water because if you put it in cold water, it won't mix properly. A little bit of warm water. And if it's too hot, you can just add a little cool water to it. Mix that up and you drink it like a shot. Now, when you mix it up like this, it's actually not very spicy. So you don't have to worry, oh no, you know, cinnamon in my mouth is going to be really hot and spicy. I'm not going to like it. You don't really notice it that much. Now, cinnamon, again, is an antiviral, antibacterial, and anti inflammatory, uh, you know, properties is what it has. So it's going to help with the inside of your body. It's going to keep those uh, properties inside your body, help you fight off infection, help you get better if you are infected. And this stuff works wonders. It also is really good if you have a stomach ache or you're having problems from gas or something like this, you can do a cinnamon shot and that's going to clear you up really, really fast and help you feel a lot better. Now, the fourth thing we're going to look at, and this is the last thing on our list today, is 
coconut oil or coconuts in general. Now, coconuts are not specifically wood, although they kind of look like wood when you buy them from the, the store, little wood balls, but they grow on trees and trees are wood. So coconut is great. The coconut water or coconut juice is going to be a really, really good uh, drink for you to help you get stay healthy or get back to being healthy. You know, it's got a lot of antioxidants in it. It's got a, a lot of the minerals and things that you need to keep your body hydrated. So you can drink that to help stay healthy and to fight it off. And the other thing you can do is you can add a scoop, you know, about a tablespoon of coconut oil to your food. So if you're going to have some oatmeal or something like this in the morning, just stick a tablespoon of coconut oil, mix that in. Why? Coconut oil, again, naturally is an antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal uh, element. It has uh, lots of triglyc triglycerides in it, and those help your body fight off viral infections, bacterial infections, or even fungal infections. So this is something that you can do. You don't want to overdo it. You know, I'd say probably about a tablespoon a day for, for this. And same thing with the cinnamon. If you're going to do the cinnamon shots, then don't do more than about one teaspoon a day. So half a teaspoon in the morning, half a teaspoon at night, and you're good to go. So we're going to put some links uh, down below in the description of where you can find some information about these four things. And just keep in mind that the best thing that you can do is try to avoid crowded areas, cover your mouth properly when you're coughing, wash your hands. Um, you know, my family, we're here at home. We've got the kids home from school. You know, we're not going anywhere. We're staying put. Let this thing kind of blow over. And the best thing to not do is not to panic. Don't panic and don't go out and stick yourself in crowded places. You know, avoid bus stations, subways, uh, anywhere where there's going to be a lot of people that could spread this, this illness. And if you do, are feeling sick, make sure to call your medical professionals. Call the hospital, but don't go to the hospital. Call the hospital, ask them what to do. They will help you out, but don't get in the car and drive to the hospital where there's going to be a bunch of other people that could get sick or get you sick. Yeah, so stay home. Get your essential oils diffusing. If you don't have diffusers, you can use boiling water. Put uh, them like in a glass, put some boiling water, put the oils, it will naturally diffuse for you. And you can just put those all over the house and it will disinfect and deviralize your entire house. So those are some tips from us. So make sure to like, subscribe, join us next week for more content and stay safe out there.